positive interactions with adults and peers. We'll start with this one first. This would be peers. Hi. Guess what? Tony and I are going together. Tina. Tina, cool. Hey, a bunch of us are going to a movie Saturday. Maybe you and uh, Tony would like to come along. Jeremy, tap, tap. Can't, sorry. Tony and I just broke up. Tina. I guess it just wasn't meant to be. Uh, right? Youth need youth. They need reinforcement from the youth that they're doing the things that they should be doing. Some youth learn how to be a youth from other youth. You know, we talked a little bit earlier about the fact that it doesn't matter where you are, these needs have to be met. And if you're not getting them in a positive environment, you're going to get them from somewhere else. You know, we can go to the, to the gang stuff that Peter Witt from Texas A&M University talks about, right? He's a, he's a great advocate for this stuff, and you can find his things all through Google. Um, and he talks about the fact that positive interactions with youth come from being on the competitive basketball team, right? They come from lunchtime running into the hallways because you're running together. And they can come from acts of crime and you know negative behaviors too. It's where you find your interaction and how you interact with each other. That's the need that these young people are trying to meet. Okay? They need um, to have an imaginary audience essentially is what it is where they believe everyone is watching them and what they do, which can lead to them being self-conscious, right? If it's not going to be mirrored with that mastery and achievement piece at the same time, right? They all have to work together. But youth need youth. Any examples from the rest of the world of where youth matter to youth, where you saw it happen? Oh. Dead air. Dead air, dead air. Sorry. You'll edit that part out, right, Tim? You can give another example if you want. All right, give me another one. You got the mic. Um, I run a day camp at the, at the Y, and I also have, I have that LIT, so I have those kids that grow up from being that camper to being that LIT to being that staff, and every year I see it more and more that those 12-year-olds that are in my camp plus that are still in camp are looking towards those 13-year-olds to mentor to be that LIT next year. So I see that more often in the, the older kids growing up to be the staff members. So it's really cool that they look to each other every year. I see more and more they grow up to be to want to be that role model within camp. So it's pretty cool how that 12-year-old can even look to a 13-year-old or 14-year-old to, to see what's going on. Right. Yeah. So there's that positive reinforcement. Yeah. But then the other piece that comes out a lot of times from an LIT program or a, being a camp counselor I know I was a camp counselor in the Y system for a number of years, and some of those other camp counselors are still my best friends today because we found that connection together. We were dealing with 21 screaming six-year-olds all at the same time. You know, we're making those connections, and we had that. We were in a positive place of interaction, and they're still today connected because of that. I'm sure some of you in the room are still friends with people you were friends with as a teenager. Maybe not like every day, let's go have tea, friends, but you know that they're there and they're they're part of who you are. They help create some of that connectedness. You go back to the outcomes again. Okay? And then, of course, there's positive interactions with adults. I love you guys. I love you for who you are, what you do for me, and for others. And I'm proud to call you my parents. Now, do me a favor and act like we don't know each other while we're in public. <laughs> <laughs> right? Everybody's experienced this. I don't even have to explain this Jeremy cartoon to anybody. Because we've all said it to our parents, and if you're a parent of a teenager, you've heard this. I pull up and honk the horn, and then wave <laughs> at all the friends. Just because I know that her friends think it's cool, right? Whatever. <laughs> it's true. You can ask her. Yeah, that's what you do, right, as a parent. You're like, they need to know that you're in a positive relationship with your mom. And, you know, I can get out and go to the mall with you, or I can drop you off and honk, right? And, you know, and she knows it's all in good fun and it's all part of our positive interaction and she can come home and tell me what her friend said about her mom after she honked the horn and <laughs> did whatever they needed to do. But the important thing is, is that youth also need to have approval from adults. They will tell you a thousand times over that they don't need their parents, they don't need, they don't need. But they'll find that adult somewhere. Some young people find it in teachers, in pastors or priests at school at uh, church they find it in coaches they find it other places that one adult that they can depend on 
And in some cases, when you work with youth in situations like this, you become that adult. And you may only see them an hour a week, but you're still that positive person, right? That's a need that you may be fulfilling for some of the young people who walk through your door, right? If I was to ask everybody in the room to tell me one person that they remember from being a teenager that they had a positive interaction with that was an adult, could you provide that to me? Okay, so somebody tell me, who did you interact with as a young person that was a positive adult youth relationship? My, my um, choir master. Choir master. Yeah, okay. at school. Okay. Basketball coach. Basketball coach. Who else? Coach. 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 Teacher. Teacher. Right, everybody has one, right? And it may end up that you are that person to some people. <laughs> You know, I've been doing this business for a long time and I got four wedding invitations last year for people who were LITs when they were 13, you know, and they're coming up through the system. And you know that you were at one point in their life, even if it was for a short period, they saw that you were that positive adult that they could go to without judgment because you weren't mom or dad or, you know, a, a relative. Okay? 